Hello everybody, it's Corey from Aaron's Appalachian Eclectic and today I am harvesting apples. There's a lot of apples falling right now, they are in the way and they are ready to go. me over to show me the bench he's working on. Yeah. Look up here. Wow. Wow. What kind of wood is that? Maple. Maple. Aaron's got his own little workshop right here. You'll just have to be very careful. It'll be easier, it won't be as much to take off. Alright babe, I'll let you get back to work. these apples to make applesauce for canning for us and also for Angela up at the house. Um, she uses it to feed a lot of the animals and if you stuck around this long I have an extra special surprise. If you look down in here you can see a very little tail curled up and in here I've got Gigi and Poppy our baby rescue possums. I'm looking after these girls and they just started eating solid foods. I like to walk them around in my apron and give them some outdoor time for them to get more active. Yeah. These girls were brought in last week. They had another sister who didn't make it, but their mother was hit by a car and they still needed some uh, hand feeding. They're still really little and their teeth are just starting to come in. Hi baby. That's Poppy. Gigi's over here. One really cool thing about living here is there is a ample amount of blue jays and I've been finding little perfect blue jay feathers everywhere I go all over the yard. So even though possums only live for about two years, two to four years, they stay with their mother the first six months um, up to a year and ride on her back. So me having them in this little pouch is kind of like riding on their mom. And I've got some bird seed here. I've got a lot of birds over here. Lots of trees for the birds. Lots of food for the birds with all the grapes. What'd you think Shiloh? What'd you think buddy? These girls need some more time walking around, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the property. There's Aaron.
these are our earth balls. They're a blackish purple color inside. They are not edible. They are very toxic. Look at their little noses. Look at your little nose sticking out. You're just so stinking cute. This is kind of what I do on a daily basis with them. Gives them some active time outside. Okay, baby. <laughs> what you doing? Now that I've spent some one-on-one -on -one time with the possums walking them around, I'm gonna put them back into their crate and go pick up my baby raccoon. He's on a play date upstairs. Look at my cuties. Look at all the cuties. It's hot outside, huh? Here are the opals that I've set so far. This one is a large faceted opal pendant. It's kind of hard to see from here. This is baby Taz's room. It's a little bit of a mess. I put him in here to go to bed because he just had playtime, but it looks like he is still playing. What are you doing, Taz? You're so cute. Yeah, this little guy has two other siblings, but they are very feral and wild and much bigger than him. And he, for some reason, really likes being around people even though he was only kept for a week. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? He's got his little raccoon charcuterie right next to him. We've got a tree in here and a soft blanket underneath and a little tub of water for him to play in. What are you doing, cutie? What are you doing? Oh, you like the buttons? So that's a little bit of what I do in the mornings. Look at Copper. Thanks for watching Aaron's Appalachian Eclectic. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you next time.